something really looks wrong at the heart of Barclays. Uh, the company, uh, the big bank in Britain, has just said it's going to pay a $425 million fine. This is all about what? Collusion in the, in the, the setting of LIBOR amongst so it's, its the, its derivatives traders? Yeah, so and, it's the big interbank lending rate. That, right. uh, all the banks submit a number on a regular basis, daily basis. Um, they take the numbers, they average them out, figure out what basically what funding rates are for banks. Um, what's being alleged here, well, I guess what the settlement involves, is that Barclays uh, was submitting numbers that were based on what their derivatives traders wanted the rate to be. Not presumably that's not supposed to happen. No, I mean, like, what, yeah, like what's supposed to happen is, like, I mean, technically it's supposed to be basically what Barclays is and other banks are charging each other for, right. for loans to each other, right? Sometimes that there aren't actually any loans and then right. it has to be a theoretical. But it's not supposed to have anything to do with, with your, your own derivative positions. positions. And again, and they're showing that, you know, again, it was this, this collusion that was going on was so that they could profit from the setting. You know, right. and, uh, so again, it, I think it really does go to the heart of, you know, it's like a very, it's like a trust issue. I mean, this, this, is going back, this is going back how long? To 2005? 2005. 2005. I mean, the main when it was of being it run by Bob prices. Diamond, who is now the, the, the running now the whole the CEO bank. of the whole bank. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, the important thing here is that there's no sense, there's no clear sense that, that LIBOR was actually affected, which is a huge thing because it actually affects trillions of dollars worth of right. derivatives prices right. and, and that sort of thing. But but the, the idea that Barclays was trying to, cha you know, trying to, trying to affect the number yeah. based on what his derivatives traders were telling the guys on the money market desk that submit the number uh, to be calculated is, is the real problem. Well, and, okay. and they certainly thought that it that it could be manipulated. You know what I mean? I mean, the whole point of this is to get right. a LIBOR fixing that is that that, that is advantageous to the bank's bottom line. Now, now, what happens here? So Bob Diamond, all the executives of the bank are saying that uh, they're very sorry. And they're going to take give up no bonuses. bonuses. So that tells you how serious it is. I mean, not only are they paying this massive fine, not far off from the number that Goldman had to pay to settle right. its hundred million CDO, less, you know, right. uh, mess. Um, but they're also completely foregoing bonuses. Um, and the other, uh, the other really kind of fascinating thing about this is this is bankers again getting caught with their emails. Yeah. You know, we've seen this time after time. And you know, you read through the settlement, which is just amazing reading. I mean, scores of just blatant emails of, hey, would you, I'm, I'm really getting screwed on this yeah. trade. Can you put the rate in a little bit lower for me? And the guy's like, oh, sure, we can do that. Well, presumably, also, why did they not know that that was yeah, wrong? Yeah, but the thing is, they probably did. But I, to me, it also speaks to a pervasive culture in which this is okay. I mean, you don't, you don't start doing emails like that if, if, you know, I mean, managers were involved. It wasn't just like some rogue trader right. here. So, I mean, again, I, to me, I don't know, are bonuses enough for something like this? There is the question, I suppose, wrong. is, does, are other banks implicated, first of all? Are other... Did Almost other certainly. banks certainly yeah. have this kind of conversation? And they're still investigating other banks, right? Right, so, so that's a question. It, and it, it, if so, then you have a pervasive culture yeah. through the industry, yet again, another t ding on the industry. But at the same time, if it's not, then you have a real problem at Barclays. And, I, and there's a good question. We'll leave it at that, whether foregoing bonuses is going to be enough. Okay, we'll be back with more breaking news tomorrow.